Hey guys, my name is Mike. I'm from Ukraine. And I'm traveling on the Balkans. Bye bye, Thailand. See you later. Hey, Malaysia. Here I come. <laughs> I'm in a city called Sungai Kolok and this city is located at the border with Thailand and Malaysia It's like 10 minutes walking that way So now I'm looking for some food and then I'm gonna cross the border I crossed the border super fast because I was the only one on the border by feet. And I'm in Malaysia at the time already. <laughs> hey. And I'm really happy with it because Malaysia is so good. I enjoy it every time. So now I'm going to Kota Baru. And gonna look for a cheap hostel because I need to make some videos for you guys. <laughs> Those guys just stopped and told like you have no shoes, we can give you a flip-flops. <laughs> and the guy just went out and thought like, I have a lot of shoes in my home. I don't need those and gave me the flip-flops and I thought, like, okay, no, sorry, I don't need them. But it was so good. Malaysia, I love you. Oh, yeah. Either something is wrong with this country or maybe something is wrong with all other countries in Europe, for example. So. I came to Kota Baru and I didn't have local money, just drink it. So I went for a 7-Eleven. I wanted to buy something to drink like uh, soya milk. Yeah, I drink soya milk a lot here. And I wanted to pay with my credit card and they didn't accept it. So the, just a random, random girl that was standing close to me told me like, if you want to buy this soya milk, I can get it for you. So she bought me a soya milk. I'm a random guy for her and she told me, yeah, it's okay, I'll just buy you a soya milk. And later I will show you where the ATMs are. What the hell? So I'm currently in Kota Baru. While I'm waiting for my friends to come here, I'm literally doing nothing. <laughs> Just sitting at home, making some videos for YouTube, uh, watching some videos, some uh, YouTube channels. I don't know, just doing nothing and relaxing. <laughs> so hot. So what actually can you see in Kota Baru? And around the Kota Baru? I don't know, I heard that Kota Baru itself is not really interesting. There are not really a lot of stuff around. There has a river, but the river is really dirty. It has some markets, really big markets. You can buy anything there. It has some type of uh, tower. I'm gonna climb this one right now or maybe later. Alex told me like I can climb till the top to the clock. I don't know, I'll try it. <clears throat> And actually, this is the city where everyone lives just to live <laughs> and you cannot see anything really interesting here. So I stopped here only for, for some time to wait for my friends and who knows, maybe I'll find something interesting here. Looks like the tower is closed, there are some rules here, but there is no information when it's opened I think I should ask about it. The owner of my hostel told me like, Mike, you should go for the mosque. So this is the entrance from the royals. Yeah. Oh. Royal entrance. I have just been in Muhammadi Mosque. 
It's, I think it's a central mosque in Kelantan. And that one. And it is so good to be there. I mean, like, it's the uh, main mosque, it's the big one. And there are several parts for the women there and additional buildings right here. So when you enter, there is an information stand. You just go there, there is a girl sitting there. She's capable of telling you everything about the mosque, about traditions, about praying, about anything you want. She will tell you anything. She was so nice. She told me like, what is the food you have to, what, what food you can eat in uh, Malaysia, what traditions they have. So if you'll be in Kota Baru, visit this one. There are open hours all the time and the girl is so hospitable. She will tell you everything you want about, about Malaysia. I've been in Kota Baru for a few days, just chilling, walking around, doing nothing really special, eating some Indian, Chinese food. So it wasn't really interesting because I have no friends here and it's not really so interesting to, to explore. Uh, and now my friend told me, brought me, he is coming here, he'll be here tomorrow. And he told me like, what the heck, you can find Indian and Chinese food everywhere. And he wrote me some places which I have to visit. And now I'm going for, as he told, the best place for breakfast, Kopitam Kita. Kota Baru and you want to have some perfect breakfast don't miss the place called Kopitam Kita it was recommended by my friend and that place is awesome the food is so tasty the prices are not really high and the people around <laughs> I don't know how to tell it they are trying to help you they're smiling all the time and the food is really awesome guys don't miss this place when you're bare feet, you can understand the temperature of the colors. <laughs> I know it sounds silly, but the black color is hotter than the white color. So when it's really hot, you're looking for whiter colors to walk on because it's not so hot and you don't feel like you're frying on a pan. <laughs> Hope it will be opened. Oh yeah, the roof is opened. Mom, I'm okay. Or maybe not. For fuck's sake. <laughs> yes, I'm okay. I've been just walking around and I found this building. It's abandoned and it's uh, sunset close by. So I decided to share this view with you guys. Look at this. Uh, okay guys, sorry. Maybe it wasn't a perfect day for a sunset. The sun wasn't so nice and the sky is full of clouds, but anyway, I climbed all up here only for you guys. <laughs> Maybe next time I'll be more lucky and I'll show you a better place and a better sunset. See you later. Yul, ты хотела подивитися, як мангустіни виглядають? Ось вони. Дай відкрию один. А цю білу штуку можна їсти. Виглядає як чесник, але дуже солодкий. Дуже прикольний. 